YouTube is, this is Medipi here. Just received a, a new device, which is the PAL Kitty X6 Pro wireless controller. Uh, my main phone is too big in the case for it, so I am using the uh, my Samsung S7. I need to charge in, it's on like 8%, but so I'm playing Minecraft. This is what it looks like. Um, it took me a few attempts reading the manual because, like, first of all, I was connected by ISO, um, iOS mode, um, the you know iPhone mode. Then I was connecting it through a different Android mode, and then I found out how to get how to get it working. So uh, it is now working rather well. It's just I've never played mobile games with a controller, so I, I need to. Actually, maybe I don't know. I want to. I want to use this phone for games, but can I? No, because it's just slightly too big because of the case. It, the phone would fit in if I take it out of the case, so I'll have to figure out a, a new case scenario. Um, it is an amazing controller. The only one downside is if I just go back save and quit right lock my phone take it out the only downside to this is the flint look look at that look at that as you can see there how flimsy the mechanism is what they should have done was put a stronger piece of metal in this it's a great design oh they, they, they need to do it's the pal kitty uh, you've just seen what it is anyway. Uh, Power Kitty X6 Pro uh, Android Bluetooth and it stretches. So it, just, all it comes with is, is a cable. Um, that easy to set up. It needs charging, but I thought I'd give it a quick whirl. There's the micro USB charger. Uh, and there are the buttons. It looks like um, a Nintendo Switch controller. So it's a really good controller it stretches that far out but my phone is slightly bigger than that but look at the flex look how dangerous that's gonna snap that so I don't know if there's a wire going between it for the both or the or both sides connect wirelessly but it, it's a good way so you get your phone and there's some ridges um, in there and your phone sits in there if you have a case on it your phone may not fit it is a very weird cases in which phones may fit and fit and which phones may not i've got it connected in the in the i finally found which way to connect it so um if i just unlock my phone would i recommend this yes if you've got a small ish phone like the s7 s8 um but if you've got anything like this is a Huawei P30 Pro you can't use it and certain cases won't fit so I can go down now and press A um, the phone does need charging because I forgot to turn it off last night this is just my spare phone for games and music um, I do play games on my main phone but I need to find what I, I'm gonna have to get for my main phone instead of this style controller I'm going to have to get the, I will show you, it's an Xbox style controller that sits at the bottom and the phone sits like that with a clip that goes around it. That's the style I'm going to have to get for this phone because it's too big. This would work perfectly. So you can get one, it has a little um, like holder, phone holder that sits on the top and you have a Bluetooth controller like an Xbox style and it sits like this. So that's the style I'm going to have to get for my Huawei. Um, but I just thought I'd try this because it was dirt cheap. I can't remember the price. Um, but you can play Minecraft. As you can see. It works perfectly well. I don't even have to map any buttons because it recognises it. Um, certain games you might have to map the buttons. But as you can see. Um, if I do some crazy zooming. Um, and then go that way. And down. And then but so if I show you now um, I'm gonna have to wait, so if I go this way and then 
so as you can see here uh, zoom in a bit more um, so as you can see um, you're trying to get it in the frame here so as you can see I can walk um, no, I want to get this one alright why in the tree so I want to grab that A put that to there okay put that there back and then scroll through my inventory right and I want to put that places a left trigger which is that one nope that one no nope. oh, left trigger I'm not used to all the buttons as you can clearly see but this is the best I can do I can zoom in even more so if I zoom in and move it slightly over as, as you can see here um, just trying to the best way to show this I can then move over and dig is this side there you go you can see me digging this is so uncomfortable right I've got it I've got it I think I've got it so I need uh, I've got a crafting table down I don't so how do I select the crafting table uh, that one no go back X no A Y no uh, uh, right bumper right bumper uh, okay that's the wrong crap I need to use LT there we go so sorry it's all washed out there but if I grab this put that oh god where did, where did it go oops I dropped it I've got to get used to this because I don't play Minecraft keyboard uh, I play Minecraft keyboard and mouse style so I normally play keyboard and mouse this is controller on Minecraft never I used to play controller on the Xbox 360 but that's a long time ago so I'm just trying to figure this stuff out right Okie uh, Okay. So, if I go back, you can just about make out. I do apologise for poor quality, um, because I I need to sort out my um my setup. But there's a horse there, so as you can see, it's working. A's jump. There's my mine. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And select start. Oh, start. There we go. Save and quit. A. Right, let's get back to the start. So, yeah, that's been Manny P. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it's not been the best. Uh, I've been trying to film it. Um, this phone is not doing very well. I need to adjust some of the settings in Minecraft. Um, because, because of the fact that I am burning up. Where's video? Okay. Let's... Uh, Render cloud, beautiful sky, turn that off. Smooth light and turn that off. So it works perfectly fine. You can control you you can control as you can see there just about you can control it and it works I am very impressed. You can go back to the home screen um, and so let's turn this off for now. But yes, very impressed. The power kitty um, I keep forgetting the name of it, I do apologise. The Power Kitty X6 Pro um, is one I would recommend, but it's one you're going to have to be very, very gentle with. Because at the beginning of the video, showing you um, how flimsy, even look, look at that flex. So they should have put a stronger piece of metal in there. Or they need to redesign this to be stronger. It is a good control, it feels nice in the hand, nice smooth material. Um, and it's good that it's got all the different type of modes, connection modes. So it's got the iPhone mode, it's got a standard 
one I was using for Android and then it's got direct play. I've not read the instructions fully, so I do apologize. But if you want to know more about this, then um, I will post links in the description. So all, these are the buttons. The only the only flaw I found um, that the looks wise is come on, come on, hello. The turbo button is slightly rubbed off. The turbo button is slightly rubbed off. All the buttons feel great, so using it feels nice. You could use it out of the the with the phone not in in here. Um, and it would, but even the up and down, as you can see, the up and down uh, motions is not great as well. So it does need fully charging. Just thought I'd give it a quick go. So if I grab this plug here, I will plug it on charge. Um, and I don't know if it's fully charged or what, but the lights are on this. Different lights mean different things. So I'm going to cut it here now. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. This video. This has been Maddie P for Maddie P unboxing and reviews. Just before I quickly go, I will show you the box. So you get the you, the instructions, the, the quick start guide in two languages, and you, there's a video on how to use it. If you scan that QR code, so if I go closer, if you scan that QR code, you can then get um, the, the, the video for it. In the bottom there's just a quality pass thing and you get this phone. Uh, let's just put that in the top for now because um, uh, bear with me let me just sort this out. So I didn't show you the box this is what the box looks like and this is all the information not even in English so if you've got um, Google Translate you can translate it now and that's the box. It, it come pretty quick. I can't even remember where I got it from. Uh, Wish.com, I think it was. It might be Wish.com. It might be AliExpress. I don't know. I'll, f I'll find out where I got it from. Because it was a while back I ordered it. Um, but it has come pretty quick. I'll find out where I got it from. And I'll post a link in the description for you guys to check out. Uh, I think it was only £10, £15 in the UK. So it's been very Um Power Kitty. Um, you've done a good job. You've got a few flaws. We, the few flaws is uh, the button labels are rubbing off, and this this mechanism isn't isn't worth it. It isn't very strong, so you have to be very careful. Um, but yeah, this has been many people. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sure catch in the next video. Stay safe.